He wanted to look good in front of his classmates. He enjoyed being surrounded by his classmates. Obviously he lives in a poorly built kiln, but he lied that his family lived in a rich neighborhood. Obviously, his parents are just ordinary laborers, but he lied that his family is comparable to Lee Kaohsiung's. And Wang, the disciplinary committee of the entertainment industry, he's just his sidekick. He drives a different sports car every day. He travels abroad. The prime minister has to receive him personally. He buys all kinds of gifts for his class classmates online. He thought he could keep on living like this with his lice. But one day, a new transfer student arrived. He told the teacher directly he wants to buy a 2,000 square meter classroom in this noble school for a donation to the school administration. He could customize a classroom in his name. The purpose of Nano's purchase is to start a company in the school. He gave every student a gold business card. The main business of his company is to help students to realize their wishes. Little Yellow Hair has failed his exams. His father's promise of a motor cycle is about to go out the window again but nano said he could fulfill his wish but for a fee of 1500 baht all the students thought it was a good deal so yellow hair gave nano the money nano took yellow hair's report card she put it straight into the shredder then she tapped on the keyboard a few times a new transcript was printed out and even the handwritten signature was exactly the same with the forged transcript yellow hair got the motorcycle he wanted soon after there was a long line of students who came to see nano for help they all asked Nano to grant them their wishes, but the only one who didn't need anything was his classmate. Dino, yellow hair told Nano, Dino is not only good looking and handsome, he also comes from a distinguished family. His family is powerful. On the contrary, if you, Nano, are in trouble, Dino can help you at this time. The girls talked about going out together. Someone suggested a trip abroad. Dino said for him. Dino said that traveling abroad is a routine for him. It's boring. Someone suggested a camping trip. Dino also said he often camped in his own backyard. And he thought it was so boring. Then Nano made a suggestion. Let's go to Dino's house and have a party. The students thought it was a great idea. Dino had always described his house as the White House. It had all kinds of recreational facilities. And he even has a maid to wait for you when you go to the toilet. And a made to bring you breakfast in bed. I want to see Dino's luxury villa. And Dino said his parents are abroad. No parents around. They can't party all they want. Dino immediately found an excuse to say no. He said all the furniture in the house was very expensive. He was worried that the crowd might scratch it. The students immediately said they'd be very careful. If he didn't say yes, I was afraid he'd be questioned. He nodded his head and agreed. Then he got into his Mercedes and went home in style. And after a lot of wandering around, he finally came to a dilapidated kiln. He paid 540 baht to get out of the car. Yes, the limousine that picked him up from school was also rented. His parents are working at home, doing handicrafts to earn money for the family. His super rich kid persona is all in his head. He bragged about it. But what about the next party at the mansion? Dino was in a quandary. He wanted to say no to all his classmates, but he couldn't think of a better or more useful excuse. And there were messages from his classmates. They were all very excited about the party. He had no choice but to call Nano. He wanted Nano to help him keep his secret. I thought he was going to tell the truth about his family. I didn't realize that he still had a lot of pride. He said that his family's things were too expensive. He said he couldn't afford to pay for the things that his poor classmates broke. He asked Nano to help him find a house similar to the one he described for the party. Nano calculated that the cost would be 200,000 baht. 200,000 baht, that's what his parents had worked so hard for. Four months of hard work. But right now, it's a matter of making sure that his image doesn't fall apart. He took his father's wallet when he was getting the fruit. He saw his bank card inside. He heard his parents talking. There was exactly 200,000 baht on the card. The money had to be used to pay off the exorbitant loan sharks. Otherwise, the gans would come and cut him up. Dim heard it was life-saving money. He was about to put it back. But then he thought that if his reputation collapsed, he would be ridiculed and ignored by his classmates. So when his parents were asleep at night, he went to the ADM and withdrew 200,000 baht. Then he put the wallet it back where he found it. The next morning, he heard his father calling the bank to tell them that the money he had put on his card had disappeared. He put on his shoes and ran away. Nano found him a luxury villa. At that moment, his classmates said they wanted a glass of wine. Soon the servants appeared in front of him, and the two respectful servants were Dino's own parents. Self-esteem often goes hand in hand with low self-esteem. Inferiority is often behind excessive self-esteem. There are many ways to measure the meaning of life. For example, to be afraid of a mountain, 
to wait for someone, growing old with your family, and money is the most common, but it's the most common thing that people hold in their hands. They can let go of it. When Nano smiles, it's hard to tell if you live or die. This episode ends here. The next episode will be more exciting.